Everyone needs time to escape the weekly work grind, and that doesn't matter if you're a student or the president. John Dickerson has more on what the right balance of focus versus free thinking is in this week's Reporter's Notebook. The president's schedule was leaked this week, presumably by somebody who works for him who doesn't think the president works. It showed vast blocks of executive time, a period during which the president can do anything he pleases. For the president's critics, the loose-fitting day suggests he's a loafer. I asked Dan Pink about this. He's the author of When, The Scientific Secrets of Perfect Timing. He explained there's nothing wrong with executive time. What's important is what we, and particularly a president, do with our executive time. A president's job is to lead more than it is to manage. Those who get this wrong clog up their day with meetings and micromanaging. Because the public misunderstands this, presidents often have to look like they're working to avoid criticism. But top executives know that free time is important to think about strategy and vision. A Harvard Business School study found that top CEOs carve out about a quarter of their day for this kind of creative thinking. But other thinking is required too. Blue sky visions are great and all, but large organizations demand systematic and focused work that is done in those tighter scheduled times. So we should ask ourselves and our presidents, are we using the two types of time wisely? Is scheduled time crisp and informative? Is free time generating insights? Reports from inside the administration suggest structured time is chaotic and free time, sometimes occupying nearly 60% of the day, often coincides with television inspired tweets. Dan Pink points us towards President Dwight Eisenhower's quadrant system that he created to sort priorities. Urgent and important matters require focused time. Important but non-urgent tasks can be handled during executive time. Where we all fall into the bog of woe is when we spend executive time on matters that are urgent but not important or not urgent and not important. That's lost time, or worse, it's time where fire drills are created that ruin everybody else's day. This is a system that can work for any of us. So mull it over next time you have some executive time. Yeah, I'll, I'll pencil that in. I'll schedule it in. Uh, CBS This Morning co-host John Dickerson is here. So this is very illuminating, actually. I well, like how you good. said, uh, yeah, because yeah. you broke it down into sort of a, 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 almost an equation, right? So it's not how the time is divided, but it's how you use the time the way you've divided it Right, up. it's not that you have this big block yeah. of time. Um, you know, so if you look at some presidents, Eisenhower, Eisenhower thought a lot about how you work efficiently. He was sort of a life hacker as a president. Mm -hmm. And he, that's because he was, of course, Supreme Allied Commander, and then he was president of Columbia. He'd had a lot of different kinds of jobs. And so he believed very much in free thinking time, and he believed a lot in vacation. Um, but he also thought about how to use the time that you are, have scheduled and that you've scheduled for certain kinds of thinking, how to use it most efficiently. Right. And Richard Nixon, on the other hand, asked H.R. Haldeman, his chief of staff, to talk to sleep experts to see how little sleep you could get and still work efficiently. So in other wow. words, he wanted to work every ounce of the day, and we certainly know that his White House organization was not one to be modeled after. Well, you know, it occurred to me as you are talking right now that maybe part of the issue with the president, because after all, somebody, as you pointed out, leaked this schedule because they weren't impressed with his work habits, uh, presumably, is that the way he works is in contrast with the way the rest of his administration works, and that's where the clash is. Exactly. In any big organization, whether it's a White House or any kind of business, Business. However, the CEO works, the rest of the organization has to be able to work around that, has to be there to accommodate that and to make the best use of it. And so that's why what Dan Pink was saying is spend your time. It's not the amount of time you spend it. It's how how you spend the time that you have and is the organization in flow with the way you spend your time. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just spending your free time coming up with new wrenches to throw into the works, that's no good for anybody. But if people know, ah, the CEO is emerging from their deep thinking tank, we need to be able to receive those ideas and then execute them, mm -hmm. then they've built a structure that accommodates that. Uh, the challenge in this White House is that there's lots of banging and, t and, and back and forth between the way the president spends his time and the way the organization, to the extent there is an organization, responds to it. Still, we were sort of hung up on this 60% of his time, right? Well, and we, and you're right, now executive time, it's this running joke, is that it's really tweeting television time, a little TNT, if you will. Um, so 
is should we be hung up on this 60%? Well, like, again, the amount of time doesn't really matter, okay. although 60% is quite a lot of time yeah. because the president does have a lot of duties that he can't get out of. Um, so 60% does get, you know, if C top CEOs spend about 25% of their time, 60% is a great deal more than that. Mm -hmm. But again, it's how you spend the time. Now, there have been people, since we've known about the concept of executive time for some time, there have been a lot of instances in which people see that during executive time, there is a relationship between what the president tweets and what's on television at the time. Right. So they're not just making it up. There is an actual relationship and correlation there. Now, you could make a case, though, that the president's communica communications part of his job, which he filters through Twitter, is a crucial part of the presidency. And therefore, he's spending this time in, in the efficient uh, prosecution of his goals. But that then you'd so have creative. to look. Then you'd have to look at what are the priorities that he. You know what, what's interesting about free time is it's essentially what are your priorities because that's what if you're an efficient worker you put your free time towards your priorities. Right. So it's a way to tell whether the president or anybody has the right priorities for their job and how they ask them how they spend their free time at work. I love that. Um, all I know is I don't have an, enough executive time, quite frankly, but I'm sure neither do you. Yes, I know. It's a concept <laughs> with which I am only familiar yes. from a distance. It's strictly theoretical. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, John Dickerson, thank you so much. Sure thing.